the imperative mood now in this video we're going to be addressing what is the imperative mood how to conjugate the imperative mood or imperative en français as well as its exceptions pronominals in the imperative mood imperative in the negative form and finally classwork to crown it up c'est parti now what is the imperative mood or Imperative. It is used to give orders or to make suggestions or give advice in French. But I would just say it's mainly to give instructions. Mm, not really to give advice, mainly to give instructions. Now, how do we conjugate l'imperative? Now, to conjugate the imperative, you're going to take the two nu and vu forms of the present tense. And then for er verbs, you're going to drop the s at the end. Now, let's conjugate a random verb. Parler, which means to speak. So the imperative would be parle, speak. Parlons, let's speak. Parler, speak. You see how I didn't add S in the two conjugation. I also removed all the subject pronouns, which are two, two nu and vous. That's how you leave it and that's how you conjugate imperative. So when you want to tell somebody, speak, you just say parle or parler or let's speak. Parlons. C'est comme ça. Now, when it comes to stem changing verbs, the stem change remains, all right? So, if you don't know what stem changing verbs are, just go and watch this video, okay? Yeah, so when it comes to stem changing verbs like commencer and manger, the stem change remains. For example, let's conjugate commencer in imperatif. That would be commence, begin. Commençons, let's begin. Commencer, begin. Now, if you notice, look at the commençons. It has a cedia in the C. That remains. And then for manger, mange, eat. Mangeant, let's eat. Manger, eat. Yes, finish your food. The stem change in manger is the E-O-N-S. Yes, that also remains. Moving on. Let's conjugate an I-R verb in imperatif. I'll be choosing the verb choisir, which means to choose. So if I say choisir, it means choose. Choisissons, let's choose. Choisissez, choose. Notice how in the to conjugation, which I said choisi, I didn't remove the S at the end. So that removing S only applies to the ER verbs. And finally, for RE verbs, you also do not remove the S at the end. You retain it. We're going to conjugate the verb répondre, which means to answer or to respond. So if I say répond, it means answer. Répondons, let's answer. Répondez, answer. You see? Quick, easy, and simple. That's why I said it's mostly used to give instructions because who are you advising by saying answer? Let's form some sentences. I could say, Prends un café avant de partir, which means have a coffee before leaving. Faites un effort. Make an effort. Yeah, try at least. Now let's look at pronominal verbs in the imperative mood or à l'imperatif. We all know that pronominal verbs are different, they are special. They are all spelt with se in front of them. To conjugate pronominal verbs in the imperative mood, you're going to add the stressed pronouns toi, nous, and vous, connected with a what a hyphen. Let me show you an example. Let's conjugate the verb se réveiller, se réveiller, which means to wake up. So if I want to say wake up, I'll say réveille-toi. You see, réveiller is an ER verb, so I still remove the S from the two conjugation. Réveille-toi. You see, I connected it to the hyphen. It means wake up. Réveillons-nous. Let's wake up. Réveillez-vous. Wake up. Yes. So that's how it's going to be written. Another verb, s'asseoir. It's an IR verb, irregular reflexive verb or pronominal verb. S'asseoir, to sit down. So if I say, assieds-toi, it means sit down. Asseyons-nous. Let's sit down. Asseyez-vous. Sit down. Oui. And the last reflective verb we're conjugating is se détendre, which means to relax, to unwind. So if I say détends-toi, it means relax. Détendons-nous. Let's chill. Let's relax. And then détendez-vous. Relax. Oui. Now, on to impératif in the negative form. Starting off with the normal verbs in negative form, 
all you have to do is to place the conjugated verb in between ne pas or ne plus or ne jamais or whatever choice of negation you're using. You are just going to place the imperative conjugated verb in between the negation. For example, if we still use parler, so if I want to say don't speak, I'll say ne parle pas. Vous voyez? Ne parle pas. Let's not speak. Ne parlons pas. Let's speak. Ne parlez pas. C'est la même chose. So you just place it in between like that. Now, do not forget that if the verb begins with a vowel, you're going to eliminate the E from ne and replace it with an apostrophe. So, for example, if I take the verb oublier, which means to forget, and I say n'oublie pas, don't forget, you see, an apostrophe, n'oublie pas, don't forget, n'oublions pas, let's not forget, and then n'oubliez pas, don't forget. This also applies to verbs that begin with letter H, like the verb habiter. You're still going to do the N apostrophe. So if I say, n'habite pas, don't live. N'habitons pas, let's not live. N'habitez pas, don't live. Vous voyez? Now, moving on to pronominal verbs in the negative form. These ones are always special. They are always different. Now, in this case, you're not going to be doing the réveil toi. You're not, you're going to throw away all that toi and no hyphen thing. What you would do here is you place ne first, the reflexive pronoun next, the verb, and then you close it up with pa. So that means if I take the verb se réveiller now, which means to wake up, and I want to say don't wake up, it's going to be ne te réveille pas. Don't wake up. Let's not wake up. Ne nous réveillons pas. And then, don't wake up. The final one, which is vous, is going to be Ne vous réveillez pas. Vous voyez? Don't wake up. C'est comme ça. Now, class work. The most important part. Class work. Translate, let's not go to bed so late. I want you to write that down for me in the comments and I'm making all of you. And that brings us to the end of the video. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe for more. Connect with me on my other social platforms, Instagram and TikTok, where I post short, concise videos every single day. Once again, my name is Elizabeth Nkere and on this channel, we make learning French fun and interesting. So once again, subscribe if you haven't and I will see you maybe in the next video on Instagram or TikTok, anyone you're on. A bientôt.